Oh, thank this you. Um, a lot better facility shooting now than you were when you were back in Phoenix back then, right? Yeah, 10 years ago went by so fast, it don't even look like the same city. So it's <laughs> it's definitely some good energy in here and good vibes. So I'm happy to be here. I, I'm curious, you know, when you having that run through the G League and playing so well, did you sense that something like this could happen this quickly? Um, I mean, I always sensed it would, but you, you just never know. So I just took it day by day, step by step, and just continue to work and, you know, showcase what I can bring to an organization. And then, you know, Phoenix came calling. So that was, I'm super blessed, super thankful, and, um, you know, ready for the opportunity, whatever it may be. When did they first initially contact you? Um, a few days ago, a few days, maybe last weekend. Okay. I talked to my agent and it was, you know, it was on the, it, it was a go. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing I had was, a, what are you, in a perfect world, what are you hoping this leads to? Um, I mean, bigger and better. I want to play a few more years in the league. So hopefully this is a setup for that. Um, you know, whatever the opportunity is, I'm, I'm ready to make an impact each and every day. You know, whether I play or not, um, it's bigger than putting the ball in the basket for me. Like, I'm, I'm able to lead. Um, lead by example, lead by my experiences, and just, you know, help in any way possible. So, you know, if my name's called, you know I'm ready. So yes. I'm, I'm ready to go right now. But if it's not, I can still impact the game in so many ways. Um, so, like I said, I'm just super thankful for the opportunity and going to impact each and every day. What's the biggest difference between the game at 25 and 35? Nothing. I'm the same player, exact same player. Um, I'm just a little more sore after the game. That, that, that's probably the only thing. Um, no, I'm just, I feel like I'm better than I was at 25. Like, I feel the same. Um, my mind is a lot further than it was. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm ready to just take advantage of whatever the opportunity is. I'm ready to be here, have fun, have good positive energy each and every day, um, and just get after it. That's, that's, that's most importantly, just get after it and compete. You've always played with a chip on your shoulder. At this point in your career, is it, is it still there? I mean, I think it will always be there, but I don't have anything to prove. Like, I know who I am. I think the world knows what I bring. Like, I play the same way on e each and every level, no matter the circumstances, other than when I was hurt. Um, I'm fully healthy. I'm fully ready to just, you know, help everybody in this organization make the next step. And you know, however long I'm here, I promise you I'll make a positive impact. Do you remember about the last game you played with Charlotte? Does anything stand out about that game? The last game, um, it was dope to put on the NBA uniform. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Like I still, each and every day I come to work, each and every day I come to the gym, I have that same feeling as when I was a little kid. So like, I just feel like once that feeling goes away, that's probably time. It's probably time to step away. But I'm, I'm still in that space. I still got that good energy, and you know, I know I can still play at a high level. So um, I'm just ready to work. It, welcome back to the again. Thank you. Everything you've been through, you explained the journey of just getting back to an NBA investor, and just uh, for anybody who might be on the board, you explained your slow grind. Um, slow grind, it's a lifestyle. That's just what I've been on. Like, I think anything that you work for in life is a slow grind. It's like nothing that that you want to be successful at comes fast. Well, the percentages are lower of it coming faster. So, you know, I just stay on the grind. I stay with a positive mindset, a positive attitude. Um, I try to do everything with good energy and a smile on my face. And at the end of the day, most of the things that happen in my career or happen in my life usually work out, you know, no matter how long it takes. Um, I think a lot of people thought I should give up or, or just tap out, but I was just, I stayed down, I stayed positive. Um, I know what I can bring. I believe in myself more than anybody else does. And I remember I, it was just June 23rd, 2011, when I got drafted, I said, all I ever wanted was a chance. Like, I'll do the rest if I get a legit opportunity. and. You know, I, I'm, I'm back in the NBA. I got an NBA jersey, and I know for a fact I'm going to take full advantage of it and make sure this lasts as long as I possibly can make it. Hey, uh, you, you know, you've mentioned uh, your journey to this point, and you've had a great career. Obviously, you don't have anything to prove, like you said. So 
what's pushing you at this point? You know, what, what is it that makes you still want to be here and still do this? You know, after everything. You've yeah, done? the love, the love for the game. I, I, I love it so much. Like I said earlier, like. Every time I step on the floor, I got that same feeling. Like it puts a smile on my face. I love competing. I love playing basketball. I love trying to figure out how to get better. And I know I belong in the NBA. So I'm gonna always continue to work for that since, you know, the day I got drafted. My, my journey and my story has always been the same. Count it out. Got to believe in myself. Got to take advantage of it every and any opportunity I get. So, you know, every step of the way hasn't been different for me. It's just been probably a different city, um, a different jersey, but every step of the way has kind of been the same. So this is nothing new for me. Like my back isn't against the wall. This is an opportunity to show the world that what I, you know, what I'm about and and the impact I can make each and every day. I think that's the biggest thing for sure. Isaiah, my name is Kellen. Nice to meet you. Welcome nice back to, to the Valley. How important was it for you with the professional basketball opportunities you had to keep it to this one singular game in the NBA in mind? It was very important. Like I. I you know, I've gotten overseas offers. That that just wasn't my goal. Like, since I was a young boy, my goal was always to play in the NBA and, and to have a great career. Nothing against overseas or any other opportunity that was, you know, presented to me, but I know my worth. I know what I'm about. I know how good I am. Um, I know the impact I can make. And once I've, you know, got the success I got in the NBA, it's like there's no other feeling. I don't want to chase anything else. Like being, being on an NBA roster is everything I want to chase and it's my 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 ultimate and only goal. I know Jay Gaspar is still here. Are there mm -hmm. any other familiar faces that you've seen from 10 years ago? My guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> there might be two or three people that I've seen, you know, that's still here from when, when I signed back in 2014. But, you know, it's great to see everybody. You know, obviously I, I know most of the guys. It's great to see the guys that are still here. And I'm just super thankful for this opportunity. What do you remember about that year? Like in January, you guys were starting to put it together and then the trade deadline happens. <laughs> Man, I, I was surprised. I was surprised I got traded, but you know, little did I knew, like it changed the, the, the way my career was going. Like it was a blessing in disguise for me, obviously to get traded to Boston and, and, and to do those types of things I did on the Celtics. But me and my family always said like, this is, you know, this is the best place we've been. Like that's not, we said that back in 2014, so you know, hopefully, I could, I could make it last longer than you know what's expected. What's it like for you to return with guys like Kevin and Brad, who you've had duels with, and then yeah. someone like Devin, who I'm sure you've watched from afar, develop? I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing to see the player that Devin has become. Shoot, I was on Boston when he had 70. I think it was 70. So you knew what he was capable of doing. Um, KD is self-explanatory. I got to work with him this morning. It's just, it's an honor to be able to you know, be on the same team as somebody like that. And then Bradley Beal is, I played with him half a year in Washington. So that's one of my good friends and somebody that, you know, that has always been in my corner. Obviously these guys I competed with, but now it's just a super dope feeling to be on the same team and not have to, you know, go against um, those, those type of guys. So like I said, I'm here to try to make things easier for everybody, but whatever the opportunity is, I just know I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Yeah. He was there during your uh, second stint with the Lakers. Yeah. Have you guys uh, like talked at all or like about like what your role might be or uh, what some goals he might have in mind for you? Um, a little bit, but he just said stay ready. And you know, I, I, I said with a smile on my face, I'm always ready. Like whether, like I said, whether my name's called or not, I'm making an impact right when the game starts. I'm making an impact when I when I got here, like when I signed today. It's all about being making a positive impact each and every day. Obviously, the goal for this team is to win a championship. So if I can be a little piece of that, if I can be a positive piece in, in, in that makeup, I've done my job. In Boston? You're dunking again, aren't you? Yeah, I could, I could dunk. It just takes a lot of energy, but I can get up there and do it. I was going to ask you, when did you know, when did your body tell you that you could that you're ready to make, it, to make a push to get back to the Look, so my body told me I had surgery in 2020 which changed my whole life, changed the, the way I, it changed my, the, the way I was living. Like I wasn't in pain no more on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would tell you probably 10 to 11 months after I had surgery, I felt like myself. I felt like I had, my legs were strong again. I had that pop that I'm used to having. Um, and like, you know, I answered this question earlier. 
like I'm not delusional. I know I'm 35, but I don't feel 35. Like I, I feel like I did when, you know, I was doing numbers against everybody. Um, so, you know, and I know I keep saying it, but whatever opportunity I get, I'm gonna just showcase that I'm, I'm a positive impact each and every day. In Boston, you were king of the fourth. Yeah. And so all that whole Game of Thrones uh, imagery and that such on the line, but obviously the Suns have their fourth quarter issues. What do you see that could uh, basically help from you in that way with the fourth quarter? Um, I mean, if they do put me in the fourth quarter, it's the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's gonna, I just, but most importantly is, you know, I've been watching the last few weeks. I, I'm, a, I'm a big basketball fan. And obviously, this team is special to watch. But my job would be to just, you know, make plays, make the right play, limit our turnovers since that's been something that's been, you know, something big for this team. Um, and I feel like I'm, I can do a really good job of setting those three guys up, of making things easier. At the end of the day, if I do play, you got to honor who I am on the court. So I, I think most importantly, it gives those guys the big three, the main guys, more space to be able to be aggressive, to be able to see more one-on-one -on -one coverage. Um, but, you know, whatever it is, if they call me in the fourth quarter, I'll be ready to make some plays, put some balls, put the balls in the basket. If they don't, I'll be cheering on the bench and trying to make things easier for the guys that's playing. You know what's crazy is that this game now is better suited for your style than it probably was for sure. Back in the day, yeah. yeah, like when you can shoot 15 threes a game, it's like that, that's always works in my favor. But yeah, the game definitely changed since when, you know, I was, you know, at my peak in Boston um, years ago. It's changed a lot. But, you know, I'm little, I'm, I'm quick. I think it's, it's molded strictly for guys like myself. Isaiah, a lot of guys, I mean, you know how this game is when guys get hurt when they're away from the game for a year or so. At your age, they don't make it back very often. What, what does it mean to you that you did make it back? Um, it means everything because it's not about me. Like it's it's bigger than me. Like for the basketball world, it's bigger for me. For people to see somebody been counted out so many times and just keep putting the next foot forward, keep worrying about what's at stake, the things that I can't control. And you know, there might be somebody else out there that's 34, 35, trying to get back in, and this might be a positive impact for them in their career. And I think at the end of the day, that's really what it's about. Um, moving the game forward and, and showing each and everybody that there's no, why put limits on somebody when you just continue to showcase that you can, you belong here. Have you had a chance to compare notes with the other Isaiah Thomas at all who we see around here from time to time? I mean, I talk to Isaiah all the time, so I haven't seen him yet, but when the news broke, he was one of the first guys that they're welcome to the family. So like he's he's a big part of my career. He's a big mentor of mine, um, and somebody I cherish each and every day, and I don't take for granted. Thank you. I am named after a little bit. There's two sides to it, but I'm 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 named after him for sure. Thanks, Isaiah. Last one, Brett. You've joined a lot of teams like later in the season. What have you learned from those opportunities, especially with the Suns trying to make a deep playoff run this year? Did they brought me in for a reason? So when somebody gets brought in at this point in the season, it's for a reason to make a positive impact, whether I'm playing or not. Like I said, my job is to be impactful, make things easier for anybody that you know I come across. And um, if my name's called, take advantage of it. You know, I keep saying the same thing, but that's that's really what it is. Control the things I can control, and that's by being a leader in this locker room, being a voice, being a personality. I mean, that's who I am. So it's nothing that I have to fake. It's all genuine. Thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, Isaiah.